Welcome to a, another 49ers scouting session. Grant Cohn, Jack Hammer, uh, the official 49, unofficial official 49ers scouts. Today we're looking at Talanoa Hafenga, who I haven't watched a minute of. I'm going in blind, which I like to do. Jack has done his homework. I think this is one of the more interesting guys because he was a first team All American. He was very successful in, in college. He's had injury issues. He could have went higher. Uh, I'm curious to see if he's up, lives up to the hype. He got a gold helmet, Jack. A gold helmet. <laughs> well, the gold helmet guys are supposed to be the best guys, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, and, and watching him play, it's it's really interesting. USC uses him in so many different ways. Uh, I know he's listed as a safety, but as we go through this, just take a notice of, of all the different places that they line him up from. You know, deep safety, like in a cover three look to uh, at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes he's almost like like in a middle linebacker spot. And the more that I see of him, the more that I think his best role is actually going to be down inside the box playing linebacker. Oh. Let's take a look. All right, let's yeah. take a look at it. Let's get right into it. Boom. Against my alma mater, which I used to root for, but now that Chip Kelly's the head coach, I just uh, root against him because why not? You know, it's personal. <laughs> Anyway, let's go back and actually just, find Talanoa Hafenga because that's really neither here nor there. <laughs> All right, where is he? he? He's lined up. He's he's in the, in the middle of the field right there. So he's got the little towel. That's one of the ways that you could recognize him. This yeah, towel that's here? That's him right there. No, so we next, actually, he's, a, here. he's a free safety. Yeah. Towel with, yeah. with no socks. Got it. Yeah. But, uh, you know, he, he doesn't even really look like a free safety. He looks like one of the bigger guys on the field. He looks just as big as the UFC linebackers. And he moves like one, too. He really does. Let's see him from the end zone. And so yeah, he's in the middle of the field here. Looks like, yeah, built like a linebacker. Looks like a linebacker. Okay. Yeah. I mean, he runs one, like one, too. So that's why it's interesting to, to see where all the different places they put him. I, I think having him in the middle of the field like he was right there uh, really isn't his strength. He's much better down here where he is now, which is down in the – he's ah. down here. Oh, he's up, at, he's up at the top of the screen on this one. Uh, right, right on here. the L yeah. there. Yep. Yeah. So I see what you're saying. He does play some like linebacker looks for them. Yeah, right yeah. The and box. then they'll have them line. Up. Yep, they'll have them line up like that. And then when they motion across, you know, and the and they adjust their splits, there'll be times when he's going to line up at basically at middle linebacker as well. Wow. So here he's basically we'll covering this. Well, he's in he's in a zone here. Yeah, he's got the he's got the hook curl zone. Okay. Right there. It looks like. Okay. Here he is back in the middle and again. Then, yeah. Okay. He's definitely a physical player. It's you know, and we're gonna see some good pass coverage out of him. We're gonna see a couple that are, are rough. Okay, so already we've seen him single high, split safety, and in the box. In the yes. first drive. Yes, all over the all over the place. And here he is again, up at the top. He was uh, in the proper position for this guy, reacting to play. He hasn't gotten tested yet, but we're seeing the different ways they use him. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't really get. He's gonna. We're gonna see him make a couple uh, later on in the game. We're gonna see the ball come at him in the in the passing game a few times. Is it one of the other intriguing things about Hafenga that John Lynch? Drafted him. I mean, John Lynch drafted this guy. You'd think yeah, he would is, know what he's looking at, right? <laughs> You'd think so. You'd, You'd think, think so. I mean, so. This guy, he looks he, – there's a lot of interesting traits about him. I think, you know, there might be – I think he's just a little uh, – I, I don't know. For for a safety, I think he might have a little issue as far as his, his lateral coverage. movement. Lateral, yeah. Yeah, in, in coverage. And, and uh, you know, maybe that's something they feel that they can coach up and, and uh, improve upon as well. What do you think about this tackle? This is a nice one. I, I like the fact that he, he you know, he, he kind of loses his, his footing a little bit, but he stays with the play enough to make the tackle. He, he's, yeah. Uh, I think number 30, isn't that Felton? Or number yeah. 10, excuse me? I believe so, yeah. You know? yeah. And so he was drafted this year, I think, in the third or fourth round. So, yeah. You know, he can't, we're going to see a couple of times he gives him, he gives him fits uh, when he's trying That's to That's an tackle. interesting matchup to watch. A good point. Felton against Hafenga, who went higher and is considered a better prospect. Well, let's see how that goes. Yeah. Okay, not involved in this play. He is here. Yeah. And there he goes back rotating again over to the top. 
Yeah, look where he go. He goes from the middle of the field. Yeah, he's he's reading the he's reading number three at the top, and, and then but yeah. he's so he doesn't really he's not watching the ball. Yeah. Where? Right here. Drops down the box. Now he's playing it underneath zone. So they can disguise coverages. You can start him up here and then drop him down and instead of it being cover four, it's cover three or something. Yeah, and, and that's this doing this right here, this is this is kind of the area where he seems like he's the most comfortable. He just he just seems the most natural when he's down inside the box. Yeah. Uh, you know, not not really having to run with guys but, but be able to yeah. play with everything in front of him, he can go side yeah. to side. He doesn't yeah. That's where he seems like he's at his best. Even when he's lined up a little bit deeper, uh, we'll see him make a couple of plays out of that, doing that. Yeah. He just looks like he just looks like a natural linebacker to me. He seems like he'd be a really good fit in a cover three scheme as a strong safety in that underneath zone. But in the Niners' new scheme, it's interesting. The, the safeties play deeper more. It'd be interesting to see how he hand, how he handles that. Right. Yeah, that's that would be that for me. I don't know about that. Be with him, it, he just doesn't seem like he's got that that ability to really be that deep that deep safety that you're going to want to have back there in the NFL. Right. Interesting to see what happens there. Here he is. Some close. Yeah. Because he's definitely got good speed and burst, but as far as you know, chasing the ball down, but covering and that dropping back, it, it, he struggles there a little bit. And his angles aren't always the best. This is a nice one because he's again, he's able to. He's sitting on this. He's he's looking for the for something underneath. Yeah, uh, and so he's able to just wait and plant and drive. Nice hit. <laughs> it's a really nice play all around. Yeah. You know, it's it's kind of a schemed up play for what his what he's what his job is. Uh, he's just reading that guy, and as soon as he sits, he's he's uh, breaking off. Yeah. Sort of concedes the catch not, and then hits him hard, yeah. Yeah, he's just staring at him. He's not looking at the quarterback at all, so he's just reading that guy, and as soon as that guy sits down, he takes off. Right. There's another tackle. Seems like a short tackler. A little bit Jimmy Ward-esque in his tackling. Yeah, there, yeah. You, you see, I did notice that a couple of times. He's he's very good at uh, keeping everything in front of him. Yeah. Usually, There's, yeah. But we're gonna see one here coming up. Uh, that's more Tavarius Moore than Jimmy Ward. Ooh. Okay. I think it's gonna be the next play after this one. Okay. Because I because now they've got him, you know. They've pretty much got him sitting at high. Yeah, that's going to be the next play. He's mm -hmm. pretty much sitting at single high safety now. <clears throat> sort of gets dragged on that one for about five yards, but okay. Yeah. Here we go. So here, it's a, yeah, it's on this screen right here, he just takes a bad angle. Watch Ooh. his first step is, is straight across, and he just doesn't yeah. have the speed to get there. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's see, that's concerning. Hey, see, yeah, I, he just doesn't have the. Ooh, 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 yeah, say it. Go ahead. Yeah, I was just gonna, he just doesn't have the speed, and so that's that's why I say playing up here, like in this kind of a position, or playing a, a deep safety, I think it's going to be a real struggle for him. Oh Especially with the four hours, you know, because they sometimes will rotate those guys, so they can't just make sure that he's going to stay in the box. They've got to be. He's got to be able to play both, uh, you know, short and deep. Yeah, he's right in the middle of the field here. Right. It seems to me like you would expect an NFL safety to take a pretty aggressive angle here, right? But the fact well, that he goes straight across makes you just shows you right away that he doesn't trust his speed, and he still gets beat. Yeah, his first step I think is going to be straight. You know, he's Whoa. Yeah, he's, yeah, and he still can't his get his angle's got to be no. Like, his his angle's got to be coming deeper. down. I would think. Well, he's late on. He's late on he's it. Late. See he's the ball. Late. What, yeah. Well, if you watch it, you know, go back to it again. Just the ball's in the receiver's hands, and he, he's still looking at the quarterback almost. Watch. Oh, God. See? What are you looking at, dude? Oh, yeah. God. Yeah, that's not good. 
So that's just no. okay. That's not necessarily indication that he's slow. It's just a really late reaction. Yeah, it's just yeah. He's not reading it very well, and then his his foot speed though also isn't enough to get over there and make the play. He needs to take a better angle. That's kind I mean, of what he, I'm. He can't lift his knees. Get those knees up. No. Okay. Okay. That's he's a, okay. You guys, good, hey, good call, Jack. This that's concerning. That is definitely concerning. Yeah. Can't have him playing single high in the NFL. No, I don't think so. I don't think he's that's going to work for him. But yeah, he was really fooled by that little awful. It wasn't even a play fake. Man. No, no, he just I don't, he just his heads are stuck inside, doesn't see it, and by the time they, he see by the time he realizes where the ball is, uh, he just has to get out there and he takes a bad angle. Okay, so now you now USC is losing to UCLA because of Talano Hafeng. I'm sure he's going to redeem himself. I, I'm sure he had a great game, but come on, dude, it's UCLA. Chip Kelly, you're making Chip Kelly look good. That is the ultimate sin. Yeah, yeah. Well, then we're going to see another another example of it right here. Uh, they're going to move him up, and he's going to be playing up at the line of scrimmage. See him right off the edge, and he's he's got him dead to the right right here, and he just he, you know he's got to attack that upfield shoulder instead and force this up inside instead Felton makes him stop his feet and bounces him yikes so here he is let's let's see it from the end zone oh man two rough plays in the same quarter yeah he just got to attack that 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 upfield shoulder he's got to get a little bit more depth on that so that he has to cut inside because he's in the right spot you know, he's, he's starting to play correctly. He just doesn't finish it off. I get He needs to make that guy. He's got to make the tackle or force him back inside to the rest of the defense. Yeah. This should have been a this should have been a, a no gain on this play. Yeah. And so, they, and so they're at like six yards. Oof, okay. He's going to redeem himself. Okay. Deep safety there. Yeah. He's here. Yeah, in the, in the middle. Yeah, that's a that's a nice one. I like the way that he's he's tracking the ball right here. Though he's staying behind him, so he's yeah. not going to overrun it. And then he's going right. to explode up through. That, that's a nice nice angle to the ball. It's not a great tackle as far as like an explosive tackle, but it's it's a nice angle. It's good. Um, just a yeah. really nice play as far as getting there and, and doing it properly. It's too bad we can't watch his special teams clip because that's how he's going to play. That's where he's going to play as a rookie. He's going to be on that special teams yeah. unit. I, I think I think I could see him, you know, kind of taking over like that Mark Nazacha role, you know, of a as a covering yeah. you know, on the other uh, special teams, uh, you know, maybe not necessarily. I don't know, kind of a linebacker slash safety guy. I think he's going to be. They're going to eventually be moving him up. I don't see him making the team as a safety. Really. You know, who he reminds me of, and it might just be the hair, of Ventron. Oh yeah, uh huh. Of Ventron. Yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. Him. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> he was he replaced <laughs> like Blake Costanzo as like the special teams all star on the Niners, or ace, whatever you want to call it. Right. Or, yeah, that was like in 2012, he was, 2013. He was good. Yeah, but not exactly mm -hmm. someone you want on your defense. More special teams, but we'll see. Yeah, maybe that's, I'm right. That's we'll pretty much all he did. Though. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, where do you go? Where do you go? Here, here. Yeah, we really, they really do put them all over the place. Mm -hmm. This, you know, he does a good job. He, he's taken on the on the uh, the trapper. He's got a he, he can't under he can't raw arm this one because if he does, they can bounce it out if the running if the uh, right. He has to set the, the quarterback edge. holds onto it. Yeah, so he's got to set the edge, and that's what he does a good job of it there. Yeah, good job. Nice. Really does play like a linebacker. Yeah. The closer to the line of scrimmage, the better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he just moves so much better. Like on this one right there, by the you know, he's they have a motion by the time the ball snapped, he's in the middle. Basically yeah. linebacker there. No, wait, hold on. Is that him? No, wait. Where was he at? Lost I think he's right down here. I think, he, I think he's down here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I play the way for him. 
He's up the line of scrimmage again. Interesting that they use him as inside linebacker, outside linebacker, free safety, strong safety, free technique. Yeah, they move them all, all over the place. Here is, here is a path. Blitz and off the edge. I like that. Doesn't really get much. Of, yeah. I like that. Kind of like a poor man's Jamal Adams. You know what I mean? Sure. He's a pass rusher. Mm -hmm. He's in the box. You can't really use him in coverage, but he he's a playmaker in his way. Yeah, yeah, and he's gonna make he's gonna make plays every once in a while in coverage, but yeah. usually it's 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 when he's able to to sit and watch and drive on it when he's playing yeah. at the safety spot. But he, he when he lines up at the linebacker position, he just he seems much. It seems like once he gets into that position, when they put him up in that area, it looks almost looks as though he's his game speeds up, and I think it's just because everybody around him is a little bit slower there, so he looks faster. If that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. And he's not like overwhelmed by the size of the players. Yeah. Because there he is again. He's, uh, he's, I think it's him right in the middle. Okay. Again, nice tackle. Yeah. That's a good job of tracking it. But he plays a safety spot a little bit different. I mean, look at that. He's not even really moving. He's just, he's reading it. He's not backing up. He's just, he's just watching the play in front of him and reading it, reacting yeah. late. Nice. And they play him up pretty close too. He's only what six yards off the ball, seven yards off the good ball. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Not like he's nine, ten, fifteen, nothing that, nothing like that. Yeah, it's not like a normal, a normal like the front arrows where they're usually about twelve to fifteen. I think it is. Right. Here he is, about eleven. Yeah, a little bit deeper on this one. Yeah, they put them all over the place. Yeah, so it's interesting. That's one of the more interesting pieces to his game. It's just we're watching him line yeah. up and all the different ways that they're utilizing him. You know, yeah. I, I don't, I, you know, I know people. Some people are saying he's what is the who's the other guy out of USC that played at uh, played for the Steelers, uh, Paul, uh, Palomalu. Uh, yeah, there's yeah. there's no there's there's no Troy Palomalu at all. That's that's the furthest thing yeah. from from what this guy. So Paul is one of the greatest players of all time. Yeah, this guy's a this guy's a decent linebacker, I think. Yeah, really. Yeah. Okay, deep deep here. Probably better than Taylor Mays. Yeah, it can't be a whole lot worse than him. Yeah, good point. Good point. Good point. <laughs> I mean, Taylor Mays made some great plays at USC, but once he got to the Fortnite, he was. If I remember correctly, this was before I was I was covering football or watching tape, but I remember didn't he line up like thirty yards deep at USC, real deep? I don't remember that. I I know he made a bunch of plays, but he was just really stiff. That was his best. Super stiff. That's kind yeah. of what we. Yeah, and you see that a little bit with with with. Uh, with you know Fonga, as far as that yeah. stiffness, that's why I, I don't know if he's really a, a safety. That's why I, I can't keep going back to. I think that he needs to be playing more up in the box on a regular basis. And you're gonna we're gonna see him in the fourth quarter trying to cover, and it gets it gets a little sketchy. Yeah, they've been they've been uh, keeping him out of those situations up to so far. Yeah. What we got here? We go. This one's going away from him. Would you call this quarters? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he looks strong. Yeah, he's 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 got he's a strong guy. He doesn't. That's not the. I don't think that's yeah. the issue. I just I I just don't yeah. think I. It's good. You know, him and coverage is going to be an interesting thing. And from everything that I heard, his you know OTAs were a little bit of an experience yeah. early on with him in coverage and one on ones. Yeah, I saw him against Josh Peterson. It didn't look good. Uh, Peterson beat him with a whip route. You know, what a whip route is where it looks like you're going a shallow cross and you stop and bring it back. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that's a tough one. I mean, Richard Sherman had had always had trouble defending that. Didn't really have to very much uh, in that cover three system, but. In this in this man cover scheme that the Niners are using, you're gonna have to cover that. Fred can cover that. Ward and Tart can cover that. Yeah, because that's a classic man beater right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, that's why that's what you're using that for. Yeah. Um, where we got? Here we go. Here. Yeah, 
Oh, <laughs> and it's somebody. Yeah, big old, big old guy. I think it was a lineman. Gets up. Yeah. Oh, hello. <laughs> Look at the size difference between seventy four and him. Yeah. Like, hey man, I'm not, hey, I'm just I'm supposed to block you. It's okay. <laughs> it wasn't personal. Where are you at, Talana? Over here. He's, yeah, he's in the middle of the field there. All right, he'll get some action a little later. Mm -hmm. There, there we go. That's nice. That's a, that's a nice, a nice, nice read and reaction. Explodes, explodes up to the line of scrimmage. One more time. I liked it. Not the, not the best tackle. It doesn't really wrap up very well. Right. He almost, he almost lets him go. But at uh -huh. least, he almost, at least he triggers aggressively. Remember what yeah, Eric no, he definitely used does. to do in these situations back in the day? Eric Reed, remember this? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. But yeah. He, he explodes. He just kind of drops his head, and his butt stays up too high. And you can see really why this guy has issues with concussions and, and uh, you know, separate his shoulders. Not the best technique. Yeah, no, his, his, no. His, his pretty much just drops his shoulder. His head comes down. His, his butt's staying up high. That's part of why yeah. he's just grabbing with his arms. He's not really, he's not really running through and wrapping up. Right. So he's going to need to work on that technique. You can see, yeah, he's using his, his body as a little torpedo. Pretty much. Yeah. Well, God love him. He's courageous, but yeah, you're going to knock yourself out. Okay. Here. Uh-oh. We'll see him run. We'll see him run. Pick those knees up. There you go. Slow him down. Good job. Yeah, there's a much much better angle on that one, and then the guy, yes. the guy does it. You know, he's, he's got a good angle. He's going to probably make that tackle on the sidelines. He gets slowed up, and he's able to, to uh, change his angle and get over there and help with the tackle. Hey, look at him go. Some good knee lift. He can do it. Nice, Talanoa. Yeah. He's getting in the middle of the field. I want to see him get up more to the line of scrimmage here. Yeah. It's on the back side there. Yeah. Okay. Top of the screen, middle of the field. another one yeah that's another one i don't like him in the middle of the field at all no he i don't think he's i don't think he should really be playing there i mean just... get over there man come on run faster <laughs> be faster <laughs> <laughs> it's it's all just it is all, it's all too slow it's just all uh, for him be faster come on yeah okay well i mean this is a fifth round pick I know there's a lot of hype for this guy, and you can use him in specific ways, but not this way. Not not in the NFL, man. No. No, not at all. He, he's not. He's got to be down. And we're going to see here in a few minutes when they when they flop, uh, flip, flip sides, uh, in the fourth quarter. We're going to okay. see him do some coverage. I think it's going to be a little okay. more interesting. Now they got him down in the box. Good. This is better. Yeah. This is. Yeah, basically, this is basically almost at a, at a middle linebacker position here. Yeah. Yeah, really. He's now in the, what, B gap? C gap? C gap, yeah, because they got yeah. their, they're both spread out. Yeah. Wow. Okay, now he's back. Uh oh, he's yeah, in coverage. He's got yeah. See, that's what I noticed him in one-on-ones. He tries to, like, really play with, like, hard leverage and, like, force you to a certain direction. But that's not really – he can't, like, mirror you. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, this is – no, he's not – no, this is where he's at his best is when he's yeah. when he's 
re really trying to force you to go one way or another. He doesn't that's have that he change does. of direction. Exactly. Correct. That, that's what he, he does. And Josh Peterson got him with the with the with the whip route. It's like, okay, you want me to go here? I'm I'm like I'm pretending like I am. Boom! I'm coming back the other way, and like he he dusted him. It was easy. So right. Yeah, and that's an undrafted free agent. So something to keep in mind. Yeah. I mean, that's the kind of thing I would do if I were trying to cover man to man. Like, yeah, I'm going to try to push you this way, but, but it can be beaten. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's see where he's on this one. XI. Okay. Um, where you at? Here. I don't no? think he's. Is he out? Oh, yeah, no. that is him. Yeah, it is him. It's at the edge. Nice, nice. Well done. Yeah, that's the kind of, again, that's the kind of stuff that where he's at his best is playing up there, yeah. forcing guys inside, trying to force, you know, force the run. Uh, yeah. He's a good linebacker. Just is he too small to do it, you know? Why, why not? Give him a shot. I don't think if, he is. If, yeah. Why not? If, if he gets hurt, it's football. You didn't invest the first round picking him. No, and I don't think he's too small to play up there. I mean, look at the size of him compared to, you know, the other guys that he's around yeah. in the secondary. He's, He's so much bigger. He's as big as number 10, who's the middle linebacker. Yeah, I agree. And when you have him here, he looks he doesn't look out of place at all. No, not at all. He, he looks like that's where he should be playing all the time. Yeah. Because it, because that drop right there, that's 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 a linebacker drop. Everything about that is a linebacker play. Absolutely. Now he's yeah, he's basically playing middle linebacker. Nice. He's up there again on the on the left right there. Yeah. Yep. Now he's blitzing. Nice. So you can see how I, I, this is how I really think they're going to utilize him. They're going to utilize him yeah. as kind of a role because then when you get then when you get into your your nickel and dime, he can be the, uh, another deep. You know, he doesn't have to come off the field necessarily in a nickel. Big nickel. Hope that is you. Hey, Jack, I'm back. Sorry about that. It happened again. I know. But I'm restarting my computer. I'm, I'm not giving up. I'm not done with this. Yeah. So so what? It overheated. That's okay. Uh, I don't care. Hold on. No, no, no. We're not done. Hold on. I'm restarting my computer. Wait a second. You think I would just give up that easily? Absolutely not. Restore my... Yeah, you re restore all of it. That's right. Thanks. So sorry about that, guys. I'm working with uh, Windows 95. It's it's. I think it's pretty good. I think it's going to last me a few more months. Sorry, Jack. Give me two seconds. We'll, we'll be back. This is intermission. Go to the bathroom. Hey, I'm back. <laughs> Boom. There I, I am. What, now, 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 I, that was scary. <laughs> yeah, two of you. There was two of me. Okay, I'm back. <sighs> Let me get that screen back up. Hey, everyone. Good to see you again. Grant Cohn. Jeez. I should probably find a solution to that because it happens every other time. Anyway, hold on. Uh, sorry. Okay. We're back. Share screen. Sharing the screen. It happens so it's like so often that I don't even panic anymore. I'm like, oh, there that there, there it goes. You just <laughs> restart the computer. Been done, been there, done that. All right. I have no idea where we were. 
in the game. We'll find it. We'll find it right now. Thank you for bearing with Jump me, to. everyone. Jump to what you think. That's right. Your, your computer, uh, let's go to like 20 minutes right around there. Cool. Boom. That's, right. I think your computer is overheating. The people over in the comment section are overheating about the things that we're saying about uh, Fonga. So I think everybody's a little too heated right now. Little too heated. Like, is it not getting enough ventilation? Is that the issue? I, I don't even get it, man. What is the problem? Is it just too much amazingness for one live stream? That might be it. Here, I'm going to blow on it. <laughs> this used to work on Nintendo and when I was a kid. Yeah, on the cartridges. Yeah, people don't remember about those cartridges. They would overheat, and then you couldn't play them, and then your day of fun was over. <sighs> this is kind of ridiculous. Hold on. Let me, let me pause it for a second because I feel like it's going to overheat again. Here. Let's just have a little inter intermission to think about things. My computer is well, really, really bad. But, uh, okay, let's – I think we've gotten the, an, an idea of a thing. If we only did that much, we didn't see the good plays. Let's, let's have a little recap of what we've seen so far while my computer catches its breath. <laughs> yeah. He's a linebacker. No, I, I think – He's a linebacker. He's, he really – he is. He really is. He's more of a linebacker than a, than a safety. The, he just doesn't. I don't think he has the speed or the, the lateral quickness to keep up with with guys in coverage as a as a safety. I, I, I just don't think he, he fits there. He's he's gonna he's gonna be a special teams guy. I think that they've talked about that quite a bit. Uh, and that's kind of the primary role that they have uh, put together for him. And I think on top of that, look at him to be a safety and and take over a maybe a linebacker position. I think that's his best spot. Maybe like. Closing out tabs. I had like 17 tabs open. That's probably tough on the computer. Maybe closing some of the tabs. You know what I'm saying? So, okay, we got that. Let, here, let's talk about it this way with, with Tullin. We, we you make your computer, it, yeah. make your computer work almost as hard as your writers. I mean, come on. The computer <laughs> got 17 tests. <laughs> I know. I got to give it a vacation. Um, so, look, we've, we've laid out what Tullin Hafanga can't do. But – when you're drafting a guy in round five, you're more focused on what he can do. So let's make the list of all the things Talanoa Hafenga can do for the 49ers in the NFL. Sure. I, I think it starts with – I think he's going to be a, a good special teams player. That's yes. one. Because yes. I, I think he has that ability. I think when you watch him play, he, he definitely looks like he can play linebacker. He, he looks much more smooth when he's playing up in the box than he does when he's playing deep. Yes. Yes. Uh, that's number two. Yes. Uh, number – Number three, he does a very good job of when the ball's in front of him of attacking. So yeah. when he's able to, to kind of sit back and watch and then uh, break on your route, he breaks very – he has very good quickness uh, and that's from that standpoint. So those are the three things that I think he does pretty well that uh, he would bring to the 49ers. I, it also seems like you can use him as a blitzer. He could be a yes. pass rusher in certain situations. There, So there are – Actually, a lot of things you can do with him. It's just keep him out of the middle of the field. Don't have him be like the eraser in the. He's not erasing anything. He's exacerbating. Right. He's the exacerbator. <laughs> okay, let's go back and <laughs> yeah. check out real quick and see if we can do this. All right, hold on. Let me see if my computer's. It's because it's making less noises, which I think is a good sign. Let's see. <laughs> okay, we're back. Yeah, jump okay, to the, good job. All right. Yeah, jump to the jump to the fourth quarter just so that in case it it has more problems. That's where it's, it's going to get interesting. People this are gonna, is all we got. All people, right. are gonna, people are, people are going to want to see his good plays too. Yeah, it's true. It's Fair, enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. We are where are we at eleven oh five. Should I go back a little bit? I'll go back a little bit. No, this that. Uh, okay. Like, <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, all right. sounds good. Okay. All right. Um, where is he here? Oh yeah. Right in the middle. No, of the that's ten. Confused. Oh. Okay. That's him in the middle, correct? Yeah, here he is. Mm -hmm. Oh, here, here, here. On the edge, on the edge, on the edge. Yep. Yep. That's away yeah. from him. Again, outside line. They, they play him a lot at outside linebacker. Or, or I don't know. Maybe they just have the strong safety dropped in that position, but same thing. Yeah, it would be, it'd be similar. The, that, that, that strong safety – Pretty much is like the, the weak side linebacker in the 49ers. Right. And then this is the nice oh. play, nice two six. Bingo. See, yeah, this is what he does. He he plays with leverage. Yep. Uh, this is kind of what I was talking about. Giving you the outside can, and breaking on it. Yeah. Yeah, where he can sit. He, it, it's he can he can sit. He's squatting on you. 
And as soon as you stop and you break, he's, he's got that burst to be able to make. So we saw it that one time when he was deep and they ran the ball and we saw him burst up and make and, and get the tackle. You see it now in, in coverage. Yeah. It's really nice. Yeah. So, he's anticipating it. He's giving it to you. He breaks early. He makes play. Right. Yeah. He's, he's really good at that. And we're going to see uh, a little bit later where he's in the same kind of a situation, but the, where he's you know he's expecting the tight end to to break on it like that, but he doesn't. We'll see what right. happens when, when that okay. occurs to him. Okay. Yeah. So motion motion away gets up into the box. This is where you want him to be. Oh, nice. You know the Niners have been converting Pac-12 strong safeties into NFL outside linebackers. They did it with Demetrius Flanning and Foles. Yes, and that's that's kind of you know this is what he is. He's he's yeah. He's a safety that should be converted to a linebacker. Yeah, and it's like as a fifth-round pick, there's no – wow, that's nice again, nice trigger. There, there's no rush to get him on the field, so you can give him a year to learn the system, learn a new uh, position, and get bigger. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, and if they can get him doing things like this where he's he's able just to fire fire off and go get – you know, keep everything in front of him and fire to, to go get the ball, that's, that's what's where he's at his best. Yeah, that was a really nice play. Now he's playing with confidence. That was, de that was decent uh, underneath the coverage with help over the top. Mm -hmm. A lot of grabbing, though. That's the only thing. Yeah. That <laughs> yes. He's, I mean, he's not going to be good in man-to-man -man coverage. Let's just be clear. He's not going to. Mm -hmm. They need to keep him out of man. But, I mean, like, how much man-to-man -man coverage do you see Dre Greenlaw do? It's more the safety in this offense, right? Right. It yeah. is. It really is. So, I mean, I think there are ways that you can avoid that for him at outside. It seems like the, it seems like the guys that they end up matching up with man to man are the safeties and, and Warner. Yes. And the other yes. linebackers are more of the, the other. They're I not agree. so much in, in the man coverage. Agree. No question. Um, okay. So, where is he here? Here? Yeah. He's, he's coming up to the line of scrimmage there. He just seems so much more natural when he's up there. Yep. And he, he does seem to make plays up there. Back into the middle of the field. Not a bad job. He's able to just to keep everything in front of him there. Yeah. Yeah, that one he was lined up up close, correct? Yeah. yeah, here he is close again, underneath. Yeah. I think that's what we're going to see. I think this is similar to what we're going to see. We're getting towards the end of it now. Okay. Of this game, correct? Yeah. We've got about a couple minutes left. There he goes. Just like he's, he's an in-the-box guy. That's where he needs yeah. to be. Well, if you had him next to Warner, he'd have some great hair at linebacker. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. I love linebackers with a little hair popping out. Uh, when, I, when I was at UCLA, USC had a great middle linebacker named Ray Maluga, who was just terrifying at the time. Oh, yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. he, he was good. He had a little hair popping out. I think that's a good look. I don't know what it conveys. <laughs> I might be a little crazy. I mean, it's it's the... It's the Palomalu look, let's be clear. But he, he rocked it well. I rocked it back in the day. I had a big fro. I've put it out on Twitter a couple of times. I, I don't know why I'm talking about that, but I was proud of it. Because you like his hair. Yeah, I like his hair. No, that's, that's, nice, that's another he nice play right well, there. He's he down. Get a head and shoulders. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just trying to plan out his career. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, It's nice. It's nice coverage. It's zone coverage. He's, he's got the, uh, the flat. Yeah. That's a good job of reacting. There he is again. This is the one I was talking about where he's, he's got to carry that guy. He's, he's not able to do it. There it is. Yeah. So that's where, okay. again, that's where his his lack of 
some of his yeah. lack of ability shows up. You know, his yeah. I, I don't know what I don't know. What, that's I, that's a bad word to, to use, but just as he doesn't have that explosiveness with being able to to run with guys, and he, yeah, I mean, he's, he's sitting on it, he's sitting on it, and the guy starts to come around him, and so he's grabbing. He's not really able to grab and run yeah. with him. He needs to play linebacker, not safety in the NFL. He could be a good linebacker. He really could. Give him a year to, to build up his body. Fifth-round pick, no rush. I mean, Greenlaw was a fifth-round pick. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, give, him, give, him, give him some time. Yeah. Let him play special teams. Yeah, absolutely. That was a key rep. I'm glad we got that. Oh, yeah. yeah, I want to make sure we, we – we yeah. got to that one because that's that's one that shows him in, in man coverage from a linebacker position. That's a, it's a tough it's a tough deal because you know when you watch him, he really likes like you said, he likes to play with leverage, and so he's playing with leverage. They're expecting that guy to break, and he yeah uh, he runs by him. He's not able to, to to turn with him, and they take him out of the game for a couple plays after that. Yeah, I don't see him. But that's—I think—that's pretty much it. Because I think they're gonna something happens here. Okay. I think they're gonna stop them. Okay. And UCLA is gonna lose, huh? You, you don't say. You don't say. Oh, nice! Look at that. That's great. Okay. Um. All right. So I think that's enough. We think it's enough. Yeah, I think yeah, that's it. Because they're just in there. All right. So uh, this looks like a to me. I'm guessing they're going to move him to, to linebacker. I don't know if they've done it officially yet, but I think they will. Yeah, I think. Style. I think. Yeah, I think that would make the most sense. And I think this guy, you know, put him because who is the third linebacker? It was Flanagan Foles at the end of last year, correct? Um, yeah. I don't really know who it is. They also have Aziz be this year. year, but he plays middle linebacker. He's the backup middle linebacker. They have these hybrid uh, safety outside linebackers that they've been developing. Yeah, that's true. All, yeah, Aziz is, is the uh, the third guy. There's that's another correct. undrafted free agent they had, Sullivan, not Hilliard. Sullivan. Is Sullivan not a 200-pound linebacker? He might be. So that could be the, the vision right there. Oh, so it just popped in my head. If you're anyone in the chat, uh, you want to fact check that, I think the Niners signed an undrafted free agent who's a 200-pound linebacker. So let me look it up real quick before I let you go. Sullivan, 49ers. What's his name? Not JTO Sullivan. Elijah Sullivan. Oh, he's two fifteen. I just got my own article about it. I just got my own article about. Yeah, he's two fifteen. All right. Well, so he's gonna he's gonna have to put yeah. on some weight, but uh, he can do it. He can do it. Yeah, yeah. Two fifteen is a running back size, and you just got to put on a couple pounds, get in the weight room. Uh, they could they could add that weight. Hopefully, not lose too much of their speed to go with it. Well, that was very interesting. Jack, thanks for hanging with me. I'm sorry that my computer has uh, overheated and shut down so many times that you're like, I know exactly what to do in this situation. It happens all the time. But uh, we hung with it, and we got to his good plays, and we saw exactly what he can bring to this team. He's intriguing. He seems like he's definitely an intriguing fifth-round pick. Yeah, he, he's got some issues. He's got some things that he can bring to the table for them. So it'll be interesting to see how he progresses through and, and really where he ends up in, in September. Absolutely. Jack, thank you very much. Everyone else, thank you very much. I'm going to be going over to Twitch in about 15 minutes if you want to see me talk and hear me talk about absolutely nothing. Thank you very much, everyone. Take, take care. Also, uh, all 49ers roundtable in like two hours, 530. Jack's going to be there too. So see you in a little bit, Jack. Yep, see ya.